What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World and yep, you guys probably guessed it. I looked at a lot of the numbers. A lot of you guys already knew that I was getting dressed up actively as Winnie the Pooh in the previous video. If you guys watched the video where we actually bought Calvin, go ahead and type the number four in the comment section. A lot of you guys voted that this guy would be raid sold because I asked the question at the end of the video and I'm starting to see you guys know what's up. Some of you guys were wrong though because you estimated that Richard Sherman would have already been raid sold. That you were wrong about. Because a lot of you guys used him and you didn't like the fact that he's so slow. So it's like you kind of figured I would raid sell him. But he's actually been playing pretty well for me. So he's still actively on the team. This guy though, he's not like a wow me type guy. You know what I'm saying? And granted, I he's a user. So it's like I can't really gauge it all the way. But even with everything that he has, as far as like breaking off the tackles when it's like a run play and it's my user, he's not really throwing dudes around and doing weird stuff. So it's not something to where... I'm gonna feel comfortable with spending 5 million coins to keep them. So I'm like, you know what, bro? You gotta go. That's why we left the abilities on Tillman. I'm gonna holla at you, you garbage, and we are gonna keep it moving. So if you guys voted correctly, congratulations. If you didn't and you're trying to lie right now, obviously I've already saw that you got what your vote was in the previous video. So, you know, it is what it is, but it is a good card. Maybe it's a better card that I just leave out there and don't use it. Maybe I would have appreciated it more if I just didn't use him and then kind of see what he does. But as a user being that big and stuff like that, I expected a little bit more impact. It just wasn't there. Plus, the games that I, like after I got him, I recorded a gameplay with him and then I lost my first game with him. And I was like, yo bro, what are you, like is this guy serious? So I'm like, all right, you know what bro? You suck, dog. You know, I was just trying to test him out, see what it was about. And then afterwards I'm like, all right, this dude is garbage. And you know, I can't upset the apple cart. Like I had, you know, Tillman just chilling, everything was good. And now that Tillman is back, I feel a lot more comfortable. Uh, this game turned out to be a really, really crazy game though, because this guy right here, he actually had pretty good user. Now I've never seen him before. I don't think I've ever played this guy, but I come out right away and I'm like, you giving me one-on-ones? Like, really? Okay. And he's like, yeah, I'm giving you one-on-ones and you give me your mom's number. And I'm like, oh, okay. All right, here. Yeah, I pass it to him. Like, all right, there you go. You're picking me off. You might as well pick my mom's up too. Yeah, but like, again, this, was, this is what's interesting about the game. For those of you guys that notice it, right? From game to game, it changes the way you can actually catch the ball. So I have a lot of different ways of catching it, which is what makes it unique. Because you can, you could obviously, every now and again, you could just run into somebody that just throws it up in the air. Like this, like he, you know, he, he threw a dot, he knew the out route was coming, he'll throw it up in the air. But as far as streaks go, a lot of people just click on, wiggle their butt cheeks and think you're gonna catch it. Those are the guys that can't get it consistently because it's a little bit more involved uh, with trying to get it done. So what happens is people give up and they're like, you know what? I can't do it, I'm gonna move on. That's the wrong thing to do because a lot of you guys have actually been winning more games with it. Some of you guys uh, are still not caught on with it enough. Some of you guys still need more practice. Some of you guys just raging and are very, very angry that you're getting mossed. So there's always a different variation of a lot of people, but at the end of the day, we're gonna do and you know try out things that work for us. That mean Joe Green, by the way, is a monster. Uh, right there, he gets a tip pick. So this guy, you know, he's two for two. This guy's doing pretty well. But again, I'm so confident with it, and you guys know that watch me live, I don't care. You see what I'm saying? Because I, what the? Yo, how, yeah, got me then. Bro, what you? Okay, man, you know what? Let me, let me, I gotta go back there. I gotta find out what happened in that. I'm gonna go back and look at that play and I'm gonna raid sell everyone that was involved with that, this guy getting outside the pocket. Like what the, bro, are you guys kidding me? Are you, bro, listen, okay. Bro, let me, let me go put on my outfit. Let me put on my, you know what I'm saying? Bro, poo bear, I gotta be there. Like, bro, you guys want to see Winnie the Pooh in a wild situation? Keep playing with me. Keep like, bro. I don't know how did he just get outside the pocket? I, yo, listen, man. I pride. How? What? Yo, he just. How is he? Yo, this guy got the D, bro. Yo, this dude got the D. Like, okay, you know what I'm saying? All right, cool. We going back to it. You, you, oh yeah, he he messed up though. He tried to wiggle around and catch it too. Like, you see, that's another thing that goes on. When it's the user versus user, it's a you have to now catch it another way. You see what I'm saying? So there's so many different variations of everything. So the thing that I like about Madden 20 is that even though it's inconsistent, you can find consistency in things that you do that are unique to the game. You see what I'm saying? Because like I can look at that and I knew once he clicked on, I had to do something and as long as I did it the right way, I would catch it. So it's like kind of weird as opposed to like Madden 17 when you guys were calling me the swerve god, everybody was swerving. 
Now, when you swerve, you can't do you can't do it. It's not if you don't know what you're doing, you can't consistently do it. And in most cases, a lot of you guys might try it in game, and you know you start off a game 14-0. You're like, yo, I ain't doing no more. I'm gonna run the ball. Where as far as I go, I'm like, nah, I'm good. Like, okay, you got you got two picks. I'm, I'm gonna keep throwing it because I know what I'm doing. You see what I'm saying? So this is the thing that you guys have to understand. Now this guy, the interesting thing about him was he got really really overconfident in his game, but he had reason to believe that his game was good because look at what he's doing. He, bro, he's doing whatever he wants. Like when you start getting beat like this, most people are gonna not want to deal with it. Like the guy's consistently staying up by 14. He's picking me off. He picked my mom's up. He did her allegedly. You know what I'm saying? Like he didn't drop her off at the house. He dropped her off up the block. Things like that are disrespectful. So we got a moss this idiot. Oh, oh, we don't. Okay, so he got three picks. So I'm like, all right, cool. And he's picking off Grunt. So I'm like, all right, now this is starting to get kind of spicy, bro. It's starting to get spicy. Are you throwing dots too? Yo, GG's in the chat. All right, cool. Yeah, this one's, yeah, yeah, we done, bro. This dude right here, man, this, this dude is ill. Like he, he running around and just throwing dots and dudes is just like, bro, what is up, man? I'm getting mossed. He's picking me off. He's dating my mom outright. The family knows now, like, what else can this guy do to me? Like, okay, cool. Like, all right, whatever. Oh, he's gonna punt the ball. I thought you just go for it. You might as well just go for it. I know it's fourth and 29, but just go for it on me. Like, you're doing whatever else you want to do to me. You might as well, you know, finish the job. Like, this is unbelievable the stuff that this guy's doing. I don't think you realize how aggravating it is what this guy's doing. Because I know why he's picking me. And, oh, he just, what? Who, who, is that Mean Joe Green? Bro, what is up? Who, okay, Mac, you're gonna be gone. All right, let's moss him then. All right, cool, let's go for six. See, now we have to, like, we gotta lock in. Like, when you pick me off, I, I gotta give you respect, especially if you user it and don't rely on the CPU, but I gotta get more aggressive now. Because, they, like, realistically, like, there, there should be no reason why you're able to pick me off. And that's how I that's how I view it. Like, this dude right here, he wants to give me a hell game, I'm gonna give him all he can handle. I'm gonna, because now I had to figure out, like, all right, he wants to run split close, he wants to run around like an idiot, I gotta make sure he doesn't make it outside the pocket. The thing that's aggravating me though is he's doing the perfect block and he's doing a lot of different things to make sure he can get outside the pocket. And then like right there, he goes and he does that and he throws it back to this guy. Like he's trying to aggravate me and it's working. So at, the, at you know, during this time, I'm like, all right, look, he that's his offense and he runs the eye slot, right? So he has two plays where he needs to roll outside the pocket to throw a post route or he's throwing some kind of stupid route that I have to make sure that I'm able to you know, kind of contain. Right here, his edge blitz is working like perfectly. Like I've never seen edge blitz work like this before. Okay, right here, finally we moss this idiot. And then we're like, all right, cool. So at this point, I'm like, all right, bro, you know you know, like that little uh, meme where you lean up in your chair? I'm like, all right, we okay, the game's tied. Let me lean up in my chair real quick. You know, everything is good. He goes back, he's still running this weird stuff. Now we start sending heat after him. He starts going crazy. He wants to throw the ball on the run off his back foot, blindfolded with one of his butt cheeks out. I'm like, all right, cool. This guy needs to be able to run around and throw the ball off his back foot. So now we just start doing whatever. Now he's throwing the ball away. And then we've realized, all right, cool. We can get pressure on him. Because to be honest with you, that was the biggest deal in the beginning of the game. Like he was able to do whatever he wanted and I couldn't get any pressure. And then obviously you guys know what happens. If you, what the... Yo, all right, Mac is, okay, guys, let me know in the comments who's a good center. He is bullying Mac, bro. Yo, this dude, Mean Joe, yo, the dude is bullying him, bro. How did he catch that? How did he, how did he just, he, what? How did he just catch that? I, I, bro, I don't even, I don't, what, bro, Grunk is clutch, bro. I, 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 I don't know what that was, man, but I'll take it. I, bro, I have no idea what he was doing. I'll take it, though. Like, the dude just literally went up and just caught that. With one of, bro, the, uh, the ball was through his arm, mad. Oh my God. All right, good, we got him anyway. Why did they just crisscross like that? What, what just, they just ran into each other? What, what, what are they doing? Why is my, okay, why would you go, throw the dot, thank you. Thank you for throwing the dot. Get a field goal too. Get a field goal too, man. You like my mom's? Like, bro, you like her? Like, I, I don't, bro. Everybody, he's getting outside the pocket. Thank you. Like, what are you, why, Kevin Green, I understand you don't got abilities, bro, but have a heart, bro. Okay, okay, go sack, I gotta go do it myself. I gotta do it myself. Like, you know what I'm saying, like, th these idiots are just running around, like, I gotta go do it myself, man. I'll go sack them then, you know what I'm saying? But meet me in the locker room, because you guys are gonna pay for it. And I'm gonna tell you right now, a couple guys getting fired, and I understand what you guys are saying, you know, you don't, you know, you got, you got a family, all that stuff. Think about that when you're not doing your job. Like, you got a family, this dude right here, okay, just sack me then. 
Just sack me. Whatever, man. Just do, yeah, good play. Good play. We got a punt here, though. You know, it is weekend league. We don't want to take any more losses. Obviously, that Calvin Johnson fiasco was stupid. So we have to go ahead and make some plays right now. Um, but you can see, like, the way that it's going. This, this dude was ready. He's blocking everybody. You know, he has a system. Why, he should have threw that. That would have been picked, but he should have threw it, though. All right, go ahead. Keep doing what you're doing. Yep, he, he, yo, this guy, man, I'm telling you, he was able to successfully continuously break the pocket with no problem. And then right here, Tillman just can't get there. That, that's the problem, man. Tillman, you couldn't get there. Now, would Calvin have been able to jump and get that? You guys might argue that. Yo, Calvin would have got that, but I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because Lurker low-key makes dudes jump like crazy. Yo, I didn't even think he's going to turn around and catch that, to be honest. I was looking. I'm like, what is this idiot doing? What is... Yeah, like, bro. Okay. What? What? Why did I throw it there? I don't, I don't know what I just did right there. That was kind of weird. I don't know what was going on. Okay, he left him open again. Yeah, he's scared because he has to double team. And you got to obviously use the one guy. Um... So with that being the way that it is, we got to try to get get him for six right here. Oh, he just jumped up in the air and just stayed going. Usually when that animation happens, you know, the guy's out to play. But for some reason, EA was like, nah, we're going to keep him in the play. And he's going to deal with you today. And I'm like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Because when you jump in the air like that, you can't control, like, all your body. Like, whatever, man. Oh, he's just going to throw it. Oh, he got double me. I didn't see that. Yeah, he had double me on. Automatic catch. Good play. Good play by him. He, you know what I'm saying? This guy, this guy, you know, he was paying attention to a lot of the things that were going on. And uh, he saw that, and he just threw it. Yep, go ahead, throw it right there. Yep, double me again. But I don't know why he did that, though. Like, he had the other dude wide open. He definitely did. All right, go ahead. Yep, he gonna throw it there. Yep, Sherman. Sherman, he out of bounds? All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. That, that was good. Then Jaday Van Clowney went crazy on 30 and 15. All right, he gonna go ahead and take his field goal right here. So now, this is where it becomes clutch time. You know what I'm saying? This is the clutch time situation. Okay, so what do you... Okay. All right, this dude is still playing hella rundy. He's playing hella rundy. All right, he don't respect me. One on one, clutch time, clutch time. Let's go, man. Clutch time. Like, stop. That's what I'm trying to tell you, bro. Like, I'm gonna figure out what you're doing and how you're defending it, and I'm gonna make you pay. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you, well, well, you gonna make me pay too? It looks like everybody paying. It look like I go for six. Everybody's paying. Like, I'm gonna you you accept check or you or money order only. Like, bro, what is up with my defense? These dudes are not playing any defense at all. Like, you local homes, go for six. Go for six, all right? All right, this is getting crazy. Like, this is in the fourth quarter, bro. Like, all of this scoring is in the fourth quarter. Like, these, look, yeah, come here. We're screaming at you. Like, you got, we got to figure out, like, what is this idiot doing? How is he getting away with all of this? Like, I've never seen this guy before, but he is apps. Okay, good play. Good play. Good, that was a good play. I'm not, even going, I'm not even mad about that. Like, yeah, the, the dot's there. Just run, yeah, run for the first down. He had to be smart. Run for the first down. Good job, man. All right, so he's moving the ball. He's happy. He, we only up four. We coming in there, though. All right, throw it right there. Pick that. Let's go. Are you out of bounds, though? Next time, tip your toes, though. Next time, make sure your toes is tipped. And if you don't, you're going to be off the team effective immediately. All right, bro, scream at him. Yep, there we go. That's what we're looking for right there, Clowny. That's what we got to build. Yeah! Yeah, everybody clutch now. Let's go, man. That's what we needed right there, bro. That's why we raid so Calvin. The dude's garbage, bro. All right, yeah, just keep running with this guy. Keep running with him. There we go. Yeah, he, he didn't have anybody to throw the ball to. He just took the sack. And that's pretty much it for it, man. Uh, 86 points scored in the game. If you guys enjoyed the gameplay, you guys know what to do. If you want more gameplay, you definitely know what to do. I want to thank all you guys and girls for watching. Definitely continue to be safe. This dude right here was a hell. Bruh, he's hell. I don't know if you guys ever played him, but the dude's hell. The dude will run around and throw the ball off his back foot and throw nothing but dots. Shout out to him, man. GG's in the chat. We out, man. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.